But as so I'm not gone from Savage as I was still working and busy with other stuff. But anyway, Savage S running on the Xperia 10 Mark II, I want to make it a little bit faster in terms of frames per second. So I've enabled the debugging and you can see that yeah, it is dipping some frames already when I do this. When I go in here, it's also dipping some frames, but it should be 60 most of the time. But the main issue is if I open up an application, for example, like this one here, and uh, do this here, you can see how the red bars are going up and down for the compositor here and there, and it's going down to almost 35 sometimes. I can trigger it. And uh, it's really, really noticeable, a noticeable lag and noticeable yeah, issue. And interestingly enough, I don't have this here for the terminal, for example. I can do this all day long and it will stay at 60 frames, roughly 61 frames or something like this. So what's the bas basic difference here? This has a black solid background and this one has a transparent <laughs> background. So the issue is with trans transparency. Might be a bug. Since I think the Xperia X that transparency is a bit broken, especially the BDRA transparency. So I made a fix for WebKit for, for addressing this a little bit, but um, just turning BDRA to RGBA, which is not really helpful because alpha, the alpha channel is the big issue here on this um, safe shares on, on with these drivers here on the Xperia. So Reducing transparency is, I think, one of the solutions of this issue. So what I did is, yeah, went through all the hoops and settings to turn off the transparency. And uh, let me demonstrate this for you. I'm executing a little script that just is overwriting some uh, files in here, some QML files that you can do on your own if you want to. I attached the, the uh, file the uh, patch as well. We start lipstick and uh, what you notice is everything is solid now. So we have a little bit smoother display. You can see it doesn't dip down, uh, maybe 57, but it's like very, very solid. And also here, this is solid, no dipping down, no dipping down here. And especially when you go into notes, for example, has a solid background as well. And I can do this now all day long can see uh, maybe 58 but it's like nowhere near where it was before so this is working fine some issues I noticed this is why I also had to patch the browser for some reason the browser has a black screen if I do this so I had to set the background of the browser to the default one then it's working fine the browser you can see is 40 45 frames so it has some issues depending on how many photos you have here if you do this then you can see the browser still uh, manages to keep the system down but this is now an issue of the browser it has nothing to do with the background image and uh, yeah this is no issue with this even if I have the black background if I set it to black here and I don't see anything it will do the same this is something special to the browser but the whole other op operating system elements here are running much more fluid without transparency and uh, so if you've noticed something that has transparency try to figure out where to turn it off and then you will see that the whole system will run a bit more smooth and uh, this also applies for things like for example tutor where you have like the long lists of something first start is a little bit slow but then if i scroll here this for example also uses transparency but i figured out it's over 50 here I figured out if I turn off the transparency here, the RGBA transparency, especially the RGBA uh, values here, and just have like a gradient here, it still can run very, very smooth. You can see it stays over 50 frames per second here on this app, uh, which makes it run a lot smoother than with the quick scroll feature enabled and RGBA transparency for the middle portion um, active. Uh, so everything with RGBA transparency on Sony Xperia devices is running very, very slow. I'm not sure. Maybe other devices are affected as well. But you can see how much of a difference this gives me, like everything over 50%. Other applications, just like, for example, PeepMuds, they have some other issues, I would say, maybe depending on how the application was built. Because here I have frame drips, drops under 
50 so you can see it's like going into the 40s this has something to do with the loading times and maybe the loading animation as well maybe i can uh, let me show you uh this version of peep mods i wanted to go to settings i think i have the option to turn off the uh loading animation to see if this will change anything let me close and reopen it just to be sure so there we go and now i can scroll you can see yeah it is still dripping down uh under 40 i'm not sure what's going on here i think it has something also to do with the loading animation still but it's also a lot quicker than it was before even if it has this dropped frames and now if I scroll up it's even harder this is something to do with the implementation i think of of items here especially the one that are loaded they're not reused this is why they have to reload it from uh and re-render it and everything and this like takes time and this is why it's dripping down so on this app, particular app it's like not so fast but it helps on most of the apps and of course android apps are not affected at all like I open up Firefox for example I can do this all day long I could do this even before and it would not suffer from any issues here and it only affects the Savage OS applications so this is why I think transparency is the enemy here of the older devices uh, running Savage OS and maybe you should think about yeah ditching somehow transparency not completely on the newer models but at least give us an option to have a nice speed and good looking device even if you have transparency disabled here just also because it like on the black device not so much transparency also here in the applications helps with readability so it might be an accessibility option that Jolla could add or just add a theme that allows us to say reduce those uh, transparency things and then we have a nice fast operating system here even on all older devices so what do you think uh, write it down in the comments and uh, yeah that's basically everything for this little uh, safer shares video i will keep doing further safer shares videos definitely maybe someone will donate me an xperia 10 mark free because the one that i had i gave away to someone who needed it so yeah that's it bye